Hello, all of you watch enthusiasts around the globe. Uh, here we have one review I was asked to do. Um, I'm not owner of that watch, but I was asked by uh, Levi Neely uh, from America. He's going to do Kickstarter campaign with this watch. And he asked me if I will be interested to do a review of this watch. And I said, sure, why not? I do like watches, so why not? And he sent me this watch uh okay it came in carton bo box cardboard box um traveling card but this is the how you will receive your watch uh in the end this is the end packaging so let's open it oh um the company name is ionic as you can see and the name of the watch is kairos so dun -dun -dun, this is a little strange when you're doing Thunder run sound with, without the box, but it works. So, this is Kairos from Ionic. And, uh, well, I did wear this watch for two weeks almost, uh, when I fi uh, when I managed to took it from my girlfriend's wrist, because she claimed it, oh, it's mine, it's mine, mine, and no, 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 it's not yours, it's not mine anyway. Um, so, uh, finally, I have it for the view, and uh, just let me a little bit change so you can see. Um, as you can see, this is quartz movement, but not usual. Usual quartz movement goes ticks every second, or but this one ticks uh, four times in one second. So uh, this is give this giving a well almost. I will say almost uh, mechanical feeling, but uh, precision and long, um, long live uh, of movements. You will just need to change batteries every two years. On this one, particularly if you use a suggested battery, you will you will change them every two years, uh, which is quite good. Regarding that, second hand moves four times in one second, which means that electro uh, step motor inside doing four time, uh, three times more work than usual one and that's why it's battery uh, will last only two years if it ticks every second as every other uh, quartz movement it will last three times longer so that means at least five years so two years is quite nice uh, inside this Seiko movement uh, the movement is uh, VH35 31A. Uh, as I say, it's a quartz movement, it's from Seiko, it's quality movement, no question about it. Uh, let's get that on site. There is no question, is, is that a quality movement? Yes, that is a really quality movement which will last long and work really precise. Uh, the case is um, this one, uh, there is a two version of case uh, at my knowledge, to be honest, and uh, one is silver uh, both are made from 316l um, so one is clean silver and another one is this one obviously uh, this is gold pvd uh, gold color pvd case uh, still 316 stainless steel uh, but with black dial also again there's a silver dial uh, uh, so you have four actually four option without the strap uh, just case and dial so you have silver and black dial and silver and golden pvd case uh, also i do receive with this watch the other strap which one will be possible to find that is the black strap and just instantly you will change the look of your watch as you can see there is a black strap, there is a red strap. And to change between them, it's really, really easy. Uh, each strap has quick release pin. You see this small thing on each side. So if you wear this watch on one strap, you can really easily change that to the another. Just pull the quick release pin. And uh, first of all, I'm doing this in front of camera. So this is this is much, much harder than you do it uh, without the camera. 
and I do, will do it this quite quickly. See, just you need some practice, and that can be done literally in a matter of seconds. Just check if everything is right, and here it is almost new watch. Different strap, it gives a little different look of the watch. The strap is leather, it's, it's, it's really quality stuff, no question about it. I'm not joking, this is really quality strap, thick one, 3 millimeters, 20 millimeters, 19.9, so let's say 20. And the measurements of the watch, well, when I still have caliper in hand, uh, okay, let me check like this. So it is 39 millimeters in diameter and 10.6 in thickness, but that uh, on the top is uh, crystal, uh, the sapphire crystal glass, and uh, it's doomed. So as you can see, you have curvature on the top because it's doomed. Uh, and the sapphire glass is the most scratch resistant the best thing the best stuff you can you can put on top of the watch is the sapphire glass so no problem there all in all uh, really quality stuff used to to, to build this watch uh, 316 l stainless steel case uh, 316 uh, 316 l uh, case back which is hold to the case with the screws six screws and that actually look quite elegant, I must say. Uh, logo of company, Ionic, name of the company, and below it's a little bit more Kairos. Kairos is the name of the watch. The, the crown is at 4, four o'clock position, as you can see. Uh, there is the, yeah, there is also logo on the top of the crown. It's a nice small crown. I have no see no problem. Well, maybe it's a little bit too low to the lower part of the of the case, but on the smaller wrist, no problem with that because it's on the four o'clock. Um, you can easily work, as you can see, this crown, even with my fingers, not small one. I do have name for my fingers, but. It's not proper to, to do it, to, to use it that name on, 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 on public, so with my big fingers. Uh, dial. Dial is clean with our uh, printed hour marks um, and also there are dots on the 12, 3, 6 and 9 o'clock. The dots are loomed. It's a C3 uh, super loom, Swiss loom, and the um, same loom is on the each hand. Uh, but don't count that this loom will work all night, it won't, because it's just too small amount of the loom applied. But it will work 4-5 hours, depends on the daylights before that. If you have it on the sun for a few minutes, literally, I mean few minutes, ten, let's say 5-10 minutes, it will work for a few hours. And uh, I do have... Uh, next, best next best thing to do it from the hand, that is ultraviolet lamp, because I can't have sun in my hand, so I will do that with ultraviolet lamp, and immediately you see the uh, the loom on the hands, and these four dots uh, around the dial. Um, so this is just a few seconds, and as you can see, it is visible even in day, uh, condition quite light uh, bright condition right here where I am because outside is quite sunny day uh, here you can see night loom uh, you can see four dots on the outer side of the dial and the hands obviously and it's quite easy to to read the time even with just four dots at 12 3 6 and 9 clock so this is the loom shot or night shot of kairos ionic so um, it's not my watch as i said before but i'm not paid for this i was just asked if i want to do review and because i do like watches 
I say yes. And so I will say whatever I think about this watch. Uh, as I say, I did wear this watch um, when I have chance because my girlfriend liked this watch and she wanted to wear and I asked, okay, how did you feel this watch? And she said, it's a beautiful watch. Uh, everybody asked about that watch. Uh, um, she worked with a lot of females, uh, colleagues and friends on the work and every of them asked where did she buy this watch because they all like it. So um, my guess this watch will be quite unisex because even I find this watch well elegant. I will say elegant. It's, it's a nice dressy watch. Uh, if you wear it like this with black straps, it's definitely classy. You can wear it on some formal evening uh, without any problem because I think this combination of golden uh, colored PVD case, uh, black dials, black uh, straps is really elegant. And through days, simple, just change the, just change the strap. Um, it is really hard to do this or the camera but even even so it is really quite quick and as you can see it can be done literally in seconds literally in seconds and now this color combination with red gold black it's it's also classy but it's more at my opinion for the day they wear so you can have one watch for every occasion if you are in in dress watches or even if you are not but but you want something nice modern that's it why not uh so we say this is 39 millimeters watch and I do prefer watch my watches over 42 millimeters uh, because I feel that then I feel comfortable with my watch. But even that I did wear this watch sometimes and I must say uh, except the straps are too short for my wrist. For, uh, my wrist is 21 centimeters or a little bit less, a little bit just less than 8 inch as you can see. It looks quite nice on my wrist, no problem at all. This is how it looks on the side. Really nice looking, classy look. Uh, as I say, it's a little bit short for my wrist, but I did talk, talk with uh, Levi and he told me that he will try to do uh, options with two uh, with uh, two different lengths of the strap longer and well I will say normal this is normal strap so he will probably go with longer and well that, that will actually resolve the problem with short strap case uh, it's a beautiful case I must say look uh, look this profile it's really nice one you, you cannot say anything else than it's a nice profile. Anything somebody can say, oh, it's a quartz. Well, yeah, it's quartz, but it's not ordinary quartz. Look look at this second hand. It's almost mechanical feeling. Well, actually, one uh, one of my friends on, on Facebook, um, Tal Chalak from Australia, yo, mate, or no, it's not yo, mate, sorry. But <laughs> okay, forget it. Uh, well, he, he made a really funny remark. It's It's... He said, oh, it looks like robotic quartz. And when I thought, well, yeah, it is. It's, it's almost, you know, robotic movement start. Uh, well, let's look like this, but it's for quartz. It's, it's, it's look almost mechanical. And uh, it's quality movement, so no problem with that. So that is the only, actually, somebody can say against this watch. Nobody can say it's not elegant because it is. Uh, it looks nice. It's quality material. So it's a stainless steel uh, 316L used for this. Uh, sapphire glass. Uh, case back is held to the case with six screws, which also looks quite elegant. 
uh, quick pin uh, release uh, for straps which can be changed in seconds literally you saw it um, excellent quality of leather really excellent quality it's it's really soft and it you, you see this is practically from the first moment out of the box the straps was so soft as this and this this uh, straps was wear and red and black quite often last two weeks absolutely no no sign of wear or, or, or anything else uh, just like first day on the end of the strap you have ionic logo on the buckle there is also writing ionic and everything is gold pvd so everything is in the same style um, the case is circular brushed on top with locks vertically brushed and then again there is a brushing uh, vertical on on the this side but then the lower beveled side of the case is almost like sunblasted uh i will actually i will say it's a sunblasted because it's not br satin brushed it's it's lit i think it's i think i'm checking again because no it is sunblasted it's look like sunblasted but it's look look really nice because you have different shapes different uh, sides and everything is different on this watch so it's not just simple case okay let's polish everything or brush everything in same way and that's it no it's it's really done nicely and i like these lugs as you can see lugs are really nice it's really elegant thin and elegant And in the end, it's a really nice watch. Maybe will somebody decide to do this watch, but in, let's say, 42 millimeters? Who knows? I will be one of the first buyers of that watch. And I'm not joking. It's, it's a really nice watch. If you want something a little bit more formal than diver watch or tool watch or sun sport watch, and still have a nice modern design that's it even 39 millimeters doesn't look so bad on my wrist i like it oh i didn't measure uh, from lug to lug which sometimes can be quite important and this one is and i always measure from center of the lug pin to the center of the lung pin and I that's it and it's 42 millimeters from lug to lug which is not much to be honest so if you have small wrist and you like to prefer really small well somebody say it's for me uh, really small 35 36 uh, watches diameter watches you will be happy with this one even if it's 39 because it's so small uh, lug to lug distance of only 42 millimeters which is quite small as you can see it's it's really nice and you still can see the loom even in this bright condition so all in all really classical piece with modern design and just let me check how light i will not say even how how much weight this watch is i will say how light it is because it's it is light and it's 48 grams it is light watch when you put this watch on your wrist you will even not find it heavy or tired of wearing this watch Yeah, it's it's. I find two things I don't like too much on this watch. One is short uh, leather straps, which 
will probably be resolved by offering normal length and longer length of the strap. Second thing is, well, that is regarding to my wrist size. Um, this Let's see, it's quite close, um, the crown is quite close to the bottom of the watch and but even when I wear this watch I never have problem uh, with crown on my skin uh, and if you wear it on your right wrist well then you will have absolutely no problem even with 21 centimeter uh, wrist if you have anything less than 21 centimeter you will not even notice that's problem and in that case you will you will have no problem with normal length strap anyway so for you everything will be just fine uh, i'm not the one who will tell you is this watch for you or not no that it must be your decision definitely but i what i will tell you is that i find this watch elegant modern design and you can wear it practically in any occasion just change the straps from red to black and you practically have a different watch see and as i demonstrated before you can do that literally in a few seconds and you have practically different watch Ta-da! Almost. So, uh, that, is, that is, I think, all what is need to be said about this watch. Uh, if you have any question, please, down there in comments, ask me. I will try to answer as best as, as I can. Um, if you like this video, please do like it. Uh, but definitely, I will like, I will like if you will... Uh, subscribe on my video channel and uh, you can share this video why not i have no problem with that if you share this video and as you can see this is really nice watch i'm doing what professionals usually do with automatic mechanism and uh, rotating the watch but that is the really nice way for you to see how this uh, watch looking really nice oh one thing I, I, I forgot to tell you uh, on the Kickstarter which will start quite soon the price uh, for first 50 buyers will be somewhere around uh, 80 US dollars for the next 50 buyers it will be 100 USD dollars and that is just at the moment maybe it will be even less than 100 but if you are in first uh, 50 buyers of this watch you can buy this watch for 80 bucks US dollars which I th think is the absolutely per great price uh, for this watch because the leather straps are Per, top quality uh, the movement movement inside is Seiko um, upper level quartz movement from Seiko uh, so it's a quality movement inside even if it's quartz doesn't matter but as you can see you will get um, four movements in one second and this second hand looks almost mechanical which is always nice thing uh, uh, it's it's a uh, accurate movement you know, it's a quartz so it is more accurate than a mechanical movement in any way uh, you will get nice designed case modern design and classic um, elegant design which you can wear in in my opinion if you are in this kind of uh, style in Every day you can wear it in any occasion. You can quickly, quick, really quickly change the straps, and you you will practically get different watch. 
just in few seconds. You see, almost different watch. Uh, there is a four different version in total. Well, if you if you don't count the straps, uh, silver case, golden color case like this one, uh, silver dial and black dial like this. My I do do find this this color combination the best one, but that's me. Um, and well, that is my opinion about about this watch. You will decide do you like it or not. Um, I just can say it's a really good bang for your money. That is my opinion of this watch. So, thank you for watching. Uh, do subscribe and happy watch hunt!